Welcome to Great Day, St. Louis. It is Friday. Oh, is it? I hadn't even thought about Whatever. that. Whatever. You've been thinking about it for like five days Since now. Uh, last Friday, yeah. actually, technically. Yeah. So, uh, question. Yes, huh? Uh, how are you and Stephanie doing? <laughs> Do you know something I don't? I thought we were doing fine. I just want to make sure because okay. there is an article out today, yeah. study, showing that January is the rockiest month of the oh. year for couples. Yeah, but a lot you know of breakups what? happen. I know you, you guys. Are when you've been, when you're an old, crusty married couple, and you've been through many Januaries already. Man. But this is interesting. I think it helps everyone just to kind yeah. of see that there are little, you know, bumps in the road that you can avoid or at least not make a big deal out of. Uh, apparently, you get cabin fever during January. We all do. Right. It's real. The whole seasonal affective disorder that thing. That makes a difference. Limited daylight, limited sunshine. And then the holidays just ended. A lot of us may have spent too much money on the holidays, and yeah. that can. Create conflict. Because then the bills show up this yeah. month. Yeah. But apparently, I this is that. the biggest breakup month of the year. So I thought I that was interesting. That. that is kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. We've heard from therapists on this show, too, that January can be a tough depression related month from the holidays on into the first part of the month. And will we have sunshine today? Because that would actually help us. No, okay. Tomorrow looks great. Okay. Good. Sunday and looks Sunday's even better. warm, yeah. Today, yeah. Sunday, mid 50s. Think about that. Focus on that. Not so much the possible wintry mess that's going on. And we have lots today. of positive things to talk we about do. today. Yeah, First we of do. all, we're getting crafty, and that always makes me happy. <laughs> You're in a happy place over here right <laughs> now. Virginia, uh, probably the craftiest of the crew here, but even she, I don't think, has tried this little gem. Today, we're going to show you how you can turn a basic jar into a gift worthy item. Seriously. And fancy that, it says Kerr on I know. the jar. <laughs> That's how Virginia made her millions in the <laughs> glass jar industry. <laughs> Also, <laughs> that's right. Now, these are going to be really fun, too. Also, I had beautiful, beautiful brides. Got to look at some of this year's hottest wedding trends and a sneak peek at this weekend's unveiled bridal show. Got to stick around for that. And if all this crafting and wedding talk is making you hungry, which for some reason it is for me, I don't know why, we can take care of that, too. We're going to show you how to make a couple of very healthy appetizers perfect for your Super Bowl shindig. Really, it's a salsa and a relish. Good for the playoffs this weekend, too. But first, over to Miss Kerr. Oh, this is so fun. Even if you've been married, this is fun. Every woman wants to look perfect on her big day, but finding a beautiful wedding dress that fits the personality of the bride can really be a challenge. But the January issue of St. Louis Magazine, get this, it includes a 35 page section dedicated to all things bridal. And style editor of St. Louis Magazine, Jan Leach, is here to tell us all about the latest trends and the magazine's bridal show that's coming up this weekend. That's going to be a big deal. And obviously, the cover doesn't really reflect what we're talking about today, but, uh, but that's, that's going to be interesting, too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first of all, what are the big trends this year? Big trends, I'd say one thing to keep in mind is that wedding dresses don't, the styles don't change too drastically from year to year, but season to season, you'll see some major trends. Just getting larger. So one thing, the first thing would be straps on dresses. Okay. Whether it's um, one shoulder, over the shoulder, off the shoulder, sleeves, any kind of straps is going to provide a lot more support. It's very trendy. We all saw Kate Middleton with sleeves. That also leads into the next trend, which is lace. Okay. So lace is very traditional. So we, yeah, the straps. Oh, sorry, on this here's dress the straps. Are, are much wider. Yeah, so much wider. This dress is beautiful. You can actually wear the straps off the shoulder, on the shoulder. Um, it's got a lot of ruching to it, but straps are just very flattering in a lot of women. It kind of shows off your collarbones, and it is more comfortable than a strapless dress. Oh, definitely. Because I had to get, I had a strapless, and then I had the straps put in, and they didn't work, and I was <laughs> pulling that sucker up all day. That's It'd be stressful. Yes, it's very stressful. <laughs> I love the bottom of this dress. Yeah, it's so beautiful. You'll see so many different dresses with these layered organza rosettes and layers and ruffles. So. It's I mean, that's always in style. It's a little bit more modern and trendy than traditional. Okay. Thank you very much. And our next look is the lace trend you were talking yes. about. Yes. So, we, Kate Middleton wore long sleeve, full lace dress at her wedding, and lace is always in style. It's traditional. It's very traditional. It can so be a little classy. bit more conservative, classy. We're just seeing it all over the place now, so that it is becoming a trend because more women, whether they're traditional brides or not, are loving these beautiful lace silhouettes. This is just amazing dress. It's, it's so pretty. trumpet style with the sweetheart neckline, and the back of it has very traditional pearl buttons and some lace dresses will come with a sash or a belt or covered buttons as well. Now, is this a slimming dress no matter what mm -hmm. your figure is? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's not a thick, chunky dress, so it will show off your curves. Perfect. Very pretty. We're also talking about accessories yes. and what's in style. And 
Colored shoes are big this year. Colored shoes are big. Colored, really, any colored anything, but shoes are always the best way to go because it's not too drastic, but a bright colored shoe. Pinks, reds, blues, turquoise, and yellows are really big for shoes this year. How fun is that? It's so fun. And look at, oh, I love this. I love the sash in the middle so of this beautiful. dress. Sashes and color in dresses are also a trend. So you can go with something a little bit more neutral with this kind of a blush um, taupe. Belt, mm -hmm. or you can go crazy and do black and charcoal and bright pink and red and this is just a little bit more subtle, very classy, so beautiful and it just helps accentuate your waistline. Now these dresses are around $2,000 that we're showing today. Is that an average price? I'd say it's a pretty average price. I mean, you can obviously find dresses from $500 to, you know, up in the $10,000 Which they will have at the show this weekend yes. for sure. You'll see every price point, every different style and fit for just about any type of bride that's out there. Now, we're looking at the, her belt, and this mm -hmm. is one of the trends as well. You yes. have some other examples of these belts. Yes. We have belts and headpieces from Lady Bird Couture. These are Amazing so belt. Pretty. I mean, the crystal detail, everything is very vintage inspired. She'll use a light blue velvet sash or a black velvet sash, different color satins, um, feathers, ruffles, rosettes, lots of crystals. So it's meant to be very luxurious. And she's a local designer. So would people wear this in their hair instead of a veil? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Is, now, is the veil going out? No, there's still veils. I think a lot of people are playing with these fun hair accessories as well. So maybe you wear a veil at your ceremony, but take it off for your reception and have a beautiful hair piece. The models are all wearing these beautiful Meg jewelry hair mm -hmm. pieces, and they're just fun. You can Whether your hair is up or down, you can use it to clip hair back or just accentuate without a veil. Very pretty. Mm -hmm. And I know a bride who didn't wear a veil, and she looked amazing, and that was our producer, yes. Brooke Russell. And she has such an amazing wedding. You guys actually featured her in St. Louis Magazine. She was in the magazine. It's such a beautiful spread. Looked like she had so much fun and she looked gorgeous. Oh, she did. So I love pretty. the pictures. And we love looking at those pictures. <laughs> well, speaking of pictures, this is awesome because St. Louis Magazine's Unveiled Bridal Show is happening on Sunday from noon to 3 in the afternoon. It's at the Renaissance St. Louis Grand Hotel. Tickets are $25 a piece or $40 per pair. And for more details, we have posted a link on our website. And you know how we roll a great day. It's time for a giveaway right now. Two lucky viewers will win an afternoon of Bridal Bliss. We are giving away two sets of four tickets to the Unveiled Bridal Show. We're talking hors d'oeuvres, wedding cake, and a bridal fashion show, of course. Just go to GreatDayStLouis.com to register to win. Again, 35 pages dedicated to brides Huge in this month's issue. Yeah. So nice. So, so John pretty. Goodman's on the cover, so we're going to have a big feature about John Goodman in the magazine oh, as well. Yeah. There's a feature about all the local celebrities or celebrities that are from St. Louis and where they grew up in their neighborhoods and their homes oh and what they love about the city. That's, That's really awesome. fun. Yeah. Well, good.